Hey there guys, I'm Pemby66. Now, uh, what I'm trying to pioneer, and what I find not many people are doing, is uh, recording console gameplay, not only with the capture card, but using other software to capture the, the gameplay. And the reason why I'm doing it is because my, my console at the moment, my PlayStation 3, is set up for HDMI. Now, as you can tell by the quality of this picture, it looks more like the it looks closer to the the graphics of the PC version. I'm not saying it's as good as, but have you seen console gra gaming graphics look as good as this? And the reason why I'm doing it is because of the the game itself, Crisis Three, and Crisis Two, the best graphical games on any system. And I thought, well, you know, the game games like that really deserve to be shown off. There's no point. point you know, getting gameplay out there and it's all pixelated and blocky, it looks shit. I mean, this, this game is, is, is there, you know, it's there to be marvelled at, you know, the, the beauty of it, the, the attention to detail, the quality of the graphics engine that powers this game. Now, in order to make sure the frames are relatively smooth, you have to set your play, PlayStation 3 or your Xbox 360 up to 720p. Don't get any higher than that, there's no point. Because you just get jerky animations. Even if you've got a quicker computer than mine. Mine's a Core 2 dual processor, you know, about 2.8 gigahertz, something like that. It's not very fast. But I've used Bandicam to record the HDMI signal. That um, what it is, my capture card's plugged into my, you know, PS3 as it normally is, but it's set for HDMI, so of course. As I've said in other videos, HDMI is not recordable with your capture software, but your capture software has to be running in order to relay the, the um, video signal from your PS3 to your PC. And what Bandicam does is the same with Fraps, it's the same with DX3, but it does it better. I found Bandicam does it better than any of them. It's less CPU intensive, and you're basically left with quality like this. Now you tell me if you've seen better quality graphics, I mean, well, you know, better quality video imagery than this from a console, you know. I mean, you do a graphical um, comparison video with footage like this from PlayStation 3 recorded with Bandicam in HDMI. Now, I've used the RGB24 codec, which is the highest codec, but the um, file sizes are absolutely huge. You know, but the thing is, that file. Not only can you uh, marvel at how good it looks when you convert it within Sony Vegas, which it, it accepts no problem. When you convert it, you convert it to a WMV. That's what I would thoroughly recommend. Use that setting, the highest WMV you can set, you can get it, and your file size will be a bit more. In it, but, you know, you can go from say. 60 gigabytes to 2 gigabytes and you will not see the difference in the in the in the imagery on screen plus you can record your commentary afterwards thing is with bandicam you can record commentary live in the game as well you know so if you've got a headset with your with your playstation 3 or your xbox you can talk to your friends online plus if you've got an, another mic that's positioned right you can that will pick up your voice and be recorded into the game so everything that's said will be recorded Unlike with a capture card, especially Roxio. And don't think you have that problem with it, Elgato. You know, it's... Um, I thoroughly recommend this method of recording your gameplay. The only thing is, you get lag spikes. So what I suggest you do is, like I say, 720p HDMI um, at the maximum. I was just messing about, blowing shit up here. And... Uh, Make sure there's nothing running in the background, you know, it slow your CPU down. Un if it says, uh, where you go into your sound settings, disable the external sound input, right? Because it uses extra CPU for that, believe it or not. Otherwise, you're just going to get really choppy video and really broken up video as well. Even with this, these two videos you're seeing now, they started out by being all broken up. I had to wait about half a minute to a minute for it to basically unfuck itself, <laughs> if you pardon the expression. 
but uh, I'm sure you can agree when you look at these this imagery on screen this is from console there's nothing added to it that's another bonus there's nothing added to it in the way of brightness contrast color correction sharpening there's none of that added whatsoever it doesn't need it so your rendering times are going to be quicker plus when you go from AVI to WMV your um, rendering times are incredibly quick it's all right I'm not on drugs <laughs> I'm just messing about just just testing how everything moves and you know how, how it looks when I've, I've recorded it um, and basically uh, the only way for me now is to record this way because just look at the the images you know there's two tutorials on my channel I mean I keep pushing this point about using Bandicam to record your, your gameplay give it a try and let me see the results because I'm, I'm the only one doing it huh? anyway I'm Pemba66 catch you later as always don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video this is Pemby 66 signing off